Hello everybody, this is L.A. Kendrick. I kind of want to do a little social experiment today. Um, just a little history. And just to show you how profound an effect what we as adults do to children, uh, realizing or not realizing, indirectly or indirectly. And I'm going to use descriptive narrative, so um, don't be offended. Just ask yourself the questions. Each one of these question marks represents a question or a person um, with an idea. They all should be valued and respected to a degree, but again, let me uh, run a few things by you and just to see if you contribute to this or you don't contribute to this. What if Europeans came to the Americans, to the Americas in the true spirit of goodwill and accepted, respected the indigenous people already current? Exercise morals, ethics, integrity as any guest should when you visit another one's home. Think about that for a second. Shared cultural treasures, inventions, ideas, philosophies. No weapons, just peace, music, literature. Imagine different cultural children playing together from across the oceans without a preordained bias. Imagine that. Imagine the minds of all cultures looking to the heavens and pondering what life elsewhere might be like while working hard here on earth, realizing that we have an equal playing field. Soon making the Gene Roddenberry Star Trek concept a possibility. The unifications of all nationalities and nations on earth as one cohesive unit. Just for a moment, think about this. There would be no poverty, very little crime, no homeless, on the advancement of humanity. With the respect of different mindsets, Humanity's future outlook looks really good, huh? Not one person or group holding all the chips. Now, imagine if you would, the Holocaust of the Jews. Imagine it not being viewed as the worst crime in mankind's history, but right here in the Americas, the same tragic situation took place. See, the Jewish Holocaust was, was and is taught in schools with great details with Hitler being viewed as the worst human to have left footprints in the sand. But the Native Americans, however, their catastrophe was glossed over as a friendly takeover that somehow they didn't mind being forced from their homes and their land usurped while being eradicated by the very visitor that under the false pretense, I come in peace. If taught in schools with the same passion as the Holocaust of the Jews, would there be any need for affirmative action here in America? Now just think about that for a second. If, he, if peace and understanding was what Europeans sought with the Native Americans, would there have been any need for the transatlantic slave trade? Would there be a need to promote universal peace? Just think about that for a second. If the treatments of blacks after being brought over was expressed in public schools, told about the horrors, the slave ships that packed melanated people by the millions like cargo, stripped them of their name, religion, language, self-image, pride, dignity, the ability to educate themselves while leaving in the wakes shattered families. No attachment to any homeland. Now just think about that for a second. In school, I saw horrible pictures of what the Holocaust did to, to Jewish people. And I was shocked. But I was never afforded the, the image of the horrors that was bestowed upon African Americans and Native Americans. I wonder what my fellow classmates thought about all of this. What would they have thought if they could see the same behavior practiced right here in America? It happened way before Hitler was born. What would a generation of my white counterparts do if after 1865, they were taught the pains and sufferings of two groups of people who were treated with the same level of hate Hitler and the Nazis carried out right here in America as they did in Germany. From that point on, learning about this for the next 150 years plus in public schools in detail, would there have been a need for Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, 
Stokely Carmichael, Huey P. Newton, the NAACP, or the Civil Rights Movement for that matter? Or would the masses realize the need for a true healing and fairness overhaul, true equality? Now just think about that for a moment. Everyone voice needs to be heard and respected to some degree. If these things were taught in school, then we could eradicate the biggest problem facing our country, a problem this country is born with. I've been all over the world. I've met many beautiful people and seen amazing countries. I never approached with any bias. I was exposed to encyclopedias at a young age, which made me want to learn more about everything and everybody. I'm being descriptive and I understand that it may be offensive to some people, but though, for those of you that know me, you know that's not my intention. My intention is to provoke thought. Now, I know this won't change everybody's mind, but I would say about 75% would be changed, would be changed. Education, when applied with graphic images wrapped in undeniable facts, will tug on the basic human heartstrings if taught from the cradle to the grave. See, the benefits of a bully is me trying to do my part. I'm trying to give children of all nationalities an outlook on themselves and the positive versus always the negative. I'm trying to tell stories about what they go through, what they've experienced. Because I remember in school, I didn't see images like this. And I don't want the children to ever think that only one group of children have the monopoly on what should be told in the world. Because if that's the case, then places like this, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the Aztec temple. When I went and viewed it, I was just in awe. And I take away great stories from, you know, seeing things like this. And I talk about cultures, different cultures in my books and in my writings. Because one group of people can't monopolize everything. Because life would be boring if only one person told their story and got to see their side of it. I try to be inclusive so that children of all nationalities, nationalities can experience different environments. With that being said, I had a guy from uh, England send me these. Uh, these are mugs made for the Destiny vs. Chaos Gems of Chaos and the Gem of Destiny. thought it was really cool. Um, got it for a, I think, I think he sent him on Christmas. And he's in England. And... I received also from one of the fans in uh, Japan. I don't know if you guys can see that. That bandana. And uh, I was really impressed with that. And I was really grateful because, again, I've touched people and I have fans abroad. So I don't just narrow my mind. I speak to people from all over the world. And uh, my writings have speak for themselves because again they're diversified and they have so many different cultural aspects to it and again the benefits of a bully as you can see shows a multi diverse group of children tackling the problems of society the weird the supernatural uh, while telling morals ethics and sharing adventures together they don't know what's behind that door but I can tell you one thing these guys are going to tackle whatever's behind that door as a unified culture and if we did that and we strive to do more with our writings and our literature and our different viewpoints and included everybody every nationality every child we can make America exactly what America was supposed to be a diversified melting pot that's why I write the things that I write and the question becomes how do you want to be remembered are you a contributor or are you someone that takes away? I want to contribute to the development of children for the next generation. And I believe that all children should be seen, have their voices heard, so they grow up to be people who can make what Gene Roddenberry and Star Trek were supposed to be like. A nation that came together all over the planet and they're one unified nation. And if we don't do something about that, if we don't look into other stories and other avenues, then Gene Roddenberry's dream will be exactly what it is, a science fiction tale of what humanity could be at its epic 
apex evolutionary stage in life. This is L.A. Kendrick, everybody. And again, promoting the benefits of a bully. And uh, hope you guys have a nice rest of the day. Please feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. Subscribe if you like to. But again, join the contest. Um, get yourself a copy of the book. Post it as a selfie. Get it from Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, Books a Million, Kindle, Nuke. It's only ten ninety nine. And uh, enjoy the story because I tell you, it's a great story, and it's uh, it's a story that 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 includes all groups, all nationalities, and manners, morals, and ethics. Again, you guys have a great rest of the day. Subscribe if you would like, and please feel free to leave a comment on what your thoughts are on. Uh, this topic that I just talked about. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.